All right, so now we're going to take a look at the verse section in Layla. Um, this is obviously the riff he spends the most time uh, playing in the song. So it's real important to get these chords down, some nice seventh chords in here. So we're going to start. We're coming out of that solo section with that 0, 3 on the A string. And that leads us to this C sharp minor seventh chord, which is a bar of the fourth fret across the one through five strings. And then your second finger at the um, second fret, I'm sorry, on the second string, fifth fret, and then your third finger on the D string at the sixth fret. We're gonna talk about the rhythm in a second. Let's just get these chords down. So we have that, that's a C sharp minor seventh chord. Then take the bar and make it a full six string bar and move these two fingers with it over each up a string. So it's the exact same shape, so instead of a fifth string root note, now over to the sixth string root. And what that gives us is a G sharp seventh chord, dominant seventh shape. So that's the next chord in, this, in, the, in the verse. Then we go back to the C sharp minor seventh. Then we're going to play a C to D. These are just uh, the standard major chords. Um, he really kind of plays it like power chords. So it's basically going to be the third fret on the A string, then uh, the fifth string on the third and fourth string, barred with your pinky. He usually bars this pinky. Once again, you can do it like this or bar it with your third or whatever. Pick it at the third fret, then move it up two frets to the D. Uh, on the at the fifth fret and then we're going to come down here to an E7 chord. E7 chord is basically just like an E major chord that most people I'm sure know. What you're going to do now though is you're going to pick up your third finger so make that an open string. The fourth string is now open and then you're going to take your pinky and you're going to put it at the third fret on the B string. So that third finger is not playing anything. And you're going to hit all six strings. Alright, so it's just remove that third finger and then put the pinky down. So, so far we have this. Then we're going to come to an F sharp minor chord. This is just a full bar, six string bar across the second fret with your pinky at the fourth fret on the D string and then the your uh, ring finger at the uh, fourth fret on the A string. Now the way he plays it is he just puts his thumb here on the this low note uh, on the on the F sharp, and then he plays the rest like a little bar up here with the, the first finger, then here. So so if you you'll you'll probably see him play it like that, but it sounds just as fine either way. It's probably more comfortable to most players. It's just a regular full bar. From there we go to the D, so, which is just like the C and the D chords we did earlier in the riff, but it's at the second fret. So the bar, this bar, make sure you go all the way across to the second string here to make it a full B major. Remember it can be like this or this. Then we follow that with an E major to an A major. That is just open A, then I'm just borrowing the second fret across the second, third, and fourth strings. Then back to the F sharp minor chord, back to the B, then back to the E, then A. Alright? So so far we have we have F sharp minor, the B, E, to A, F sharp minor, B, E, A, and then it takes us to the chorus, all right? So try to just string those chords along and try to memorize the chord sequence. Um, it's He just does that over and over again. Now we're going to take here, we're going to 
try to talk about the rhythm here. The rhythm's just a nice little swing, kind of shuffle feel. And here's basically how I play it. So I... So you see that I'm keeping a natural momentum, like a, you got to keep this swing going in your hand. And when I'm, I'm going, as I'm picking every single stroke, except for the, on the, that, that downstroke on the three. So let's say this is like four beats. I'm going one and two and miss and four and. So of all those one and two and three and four and, the only one I'm missing is the downstroke that happens on that three. Once again, one and two and miss and four and one and two and miss and four and. Now remember, you still do the pick stroke when you're not hitting the strings, just so you can keep the natural momentum going. So let's just put that together. Now the rhythm gets interrupted there when you do the C to the D and you just hit each one of those chords once and then we're to this E7 and we're back to the rhythm on that. Now when we get to the F sharp to the B to the E to the A back to the F sharp back to the B um, we're just going down up down Just down, up, down, up. The last one, you just, the last E, you just hit E, strum it, pause, then leading into the chorus, we're back to that A. Just the, just the A power chord really, which is open fifth string, second on the D string, second on the uh, G string. So all together. So the chorus is basically the same riff as in the intro. You can really kind of mix up the rhythm just like we did in the intro or keep it the same, just kind of feel throughout. It's just the exact same riff that we did earlier, okay? And then that will take us back into the verse uh, at coming out of the chorus, that little... It'll do that little 0-3 again on the A string and then take us back into the verse, all right? So after this intro section that we did and the solo, it goes through the verse, then the chorus, verse, chorus, verse again. Then it does the chorus twice as long, so it's a double chorus. And then out of that, we go into the um, back into the uh, the main solo of the song, and then out with the chorus. All right. So we're gonna now the next video we're gonna take care of the uh, the main solo in the song. So stay tuned for that.